Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the reef. So, uh, these are all going to upload pretty close to the same time, because I was out sick, and then I just got busy with home life, and uh, when I didn't end up going to work, uh, again, I left my charging cable for my laptop at work, so I didn't exactly have any way to charge my laptop to post all the videos. But the videos have been being created, they're just not, they're just not there, you know what I mean? online so uh we're gonna do more brine shrimp i'm gonna show you guys what my process is if you can see there's a shit ton of movement so we've got a really good hatch there we go. so what i do is take them out i put them in here Put a little water on them. I drain that water back into here. And then I plop it upside down. Excuse me, I did not bring my thing with me for some reason. And then I just flush them out with some fresh brine salt water. And then it goes back in to catch another grouping. Uh, this has been, I don't know, maybe three days now of, of harvesting. I, I got a lot more the other days, but this is still an acceptable amount, I think. You see there's still a lot of motility with them, which is important. Right. And then the thing I... Hi, Gigi. No, oh, you're, you're, you're down here. And then the other thing I do is I take a little bit of spirulina powder. I just put a, a little, a little bit in. Not a lot, just a little. And I mix it around so that it's like in the water column. It's not just, because remember it's hydrophobic. So we need to kind of encourage it to join the water so mix it around a little bit and then I just let it sit like that and I let them eat because the uh, the particle size of the spirulina powder is really small and um, hopefully that's going to you know gut fill them because as a whole honestly they're 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 really nutrient poor um, like they're good belly filler, um, but as far as like nutrient, they're not the densest, uh, uh, food that you can have. They're better than like a little older ones. Fresh hatched ones at least usually still have like the yolk sac attached to them yet. So that's when, that's why these are, are better than like a little bit older. So once you get a little bit older, you, you might as well just raise them up to like full size brine shrimp. So you can gut pack them a little better. Fish are pissed off. Well, nothing again. So that's what they do. But, um, I was gonna find Maui. I'm not entirely certain where his little butt is scavenging right now. Look. Oh, he's over in his car. He loves hunting over here, <clears throat> over on this side of the tank. He's right, right there behind the torch. Um, but uh, yeah, he loves he loves scavenging over there. Uh, I don't know if that's just where most of the pods are hanging out. Um, I still look on the panel every day just to see what our populations like. Uh, to judge off of that is, and there's still just, 
collect a, a, a gigantic, enormous amount of them, uh, swarming all over the panels. So if they're all over the panels, that means they're all over the rock, and they're all over the sand. Crazy for the spirulina powder. <clears throat> Anytime that we can find a shortcut or another way to get more nutrition uh, into our fish's bellies uh, without adding an extra meal is always a huge benefit. Right? So if we add more meals, well, that, that's got to go somewhere, right? and it comes out usually in poop. Done. So, in an effort to get our uh, phosphate down a little bit more here, there he is now. He's in the back there, hunting like a little fish. <laughs> um, I've been making sure that I get every dose of Nopox done, and that's 20 milliliters a day every day and then I just double check that our skimmer is functioning appropriately because we want the goop coming out we don't want the goop staying in and then I'll show you what I do for feeding with our homemade feeder I need our syringe. This is just a 10 cc syringe that I got with one of the test kits and the 10 line is kind of rubbed off. So it's basically useless for testing now. But here's my tube for the feeder. I'm just gonna suck up as much as we can fit into one. I'm gonna push it in fast, slow, doesn't really matter. Just that it goes in. And then there, I do 10 cc's or one syringe full of just regular tank water just to push them all down into the cup. And then I simply just loop our hose back in to there. Then I rinse the cup out and the fish in the rest of the tank get to scavenge it, whatever I didn't get out of the cup. So that's how we do that. Um, <clears throat> we can take a quick peek and see if we can see them uh, peeking their their heads out. You can see that the crabs have gathered that there's a uh, there's food to be had here. So they come over. Not ideal, but acceptable. And Maui is hunting. There, there he 
anyways. So that's all I've got for today. If you have any questions about uh, hatching brine shrimp, let me know. Leave a comment below, leave a like, and we'll see you tomorrow.